back, forward, sideways, whatever you want to say for it. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Morning, afternoon. I love the internet. You can watch it anytime and enjoy it, I guess. <laughs> Gun mounts. I um, just broke into another television. This time, I got some nice cream, uh, milky jade looking. The, everything that I've gotten up to this point, except for this, was a creamy white for like teeth. But this is more of a jade color, so that will work in handy with some of the stuff I'm doing. Just never know when you need a like a little jade green elephant or stuff like that. It's good for beads. It's good for just about anything. Uh, that's the worst part. But anyway, broke it out of the back of a TV set. I was brutal with it, if you can see. Shattered all over the place. Anyway, instead of showing you, I'll end up melting it out and I'll show you how it looks as I'm melting too. The, the last one I, I realized that I showed you the finished product and I showed you me breaking it out like this, but I didn't show you. And be careful, glass is sharp. It's not hot enough to cut you. I mean, hot enough to burn you. It's hot, sharp enough to cut you. Scalpel sharp. That's the crazy thing. Scalpel sharp. Okay. With that, I'll uh, break off a little bit here. Oops. That'll work for now. Taking it out of the... <laughs> I'll get back to when I got the chunks. Thank you. Okay. The magic of modern television. Well, not television, but video. I stopped. And finished breaking it off. Best I could. There's probably a couple other chunks around on my table. As organized as I keep it. Anyway, here we go. We're going to light it up. Thing about gun mount glass, it has some interesting properties. It's it's not it's different than boro. Oh, I thought from uh, Now let's try this again. When I have the oxygen concentrators on, I I tend to use a lot of oxygen and they start to flame that lighter I have is nothing but the igniter the uh, pyrogesic crystal um, you can use it uh, you know have gas in it but having gas on a table with flame just sort of sometimes can go askew to say the least okay oops I forgot to put my glasses on. They're over here somewhere. There they are. You know, you have to whistle and you jump right onto your face, right? Right. <laughs> Didymium glasses are a wonderful thing to have. If you ever, you know, if you haven't done glass blowing before and you're just starting out, it is always good to have a pair of didymium lenses. Again, this is a milky jade, and what I do is I'll melt it all together into a nice little, and you can see this is cold. It's dried off. It's not warmed up or anything, and you can see that it's not going pop, snap, crackle, like sometimes it does with uh, even boro. But the way I, you know, I just sort of stick it in and keep it melting. And I'll twist it up into a nice little blob and stretch it out into a rod. That way you can use it for good purposes at the time you need it.
it's a little it's about an ounce or so of colored glass so if you have an old TV and you want to have some fun with it please be careful the discharge there are things on YouTube that can explain what to do to make sure you discharge the electrical otherwise Zapparoonies, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Now I twist it. That keeps it to a round. Easier to make into a... You can do it keep it square if you wanted to, but me... You could call... If you work with, you know, gun mount stuff, you could call them tubies. It was not to be as a as a as a TV tube anymore, but gun mounts. And there you go. I'll show you the finished screen. It'll turn a nice milky jade green again. Well, oops, there's a couple more. Ch well, nothing major. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your day. Here's the finished product. Nice milky jade.